Hi, I'm Silvio. One of the clients of the company I work for also deals with Christmas products. About a month ago I went to visit their warehouses and in their exhibition area perched on a very dusty shelf at least 3 meters high I spotted this little object here and I commented oh that's a very nice piece. At the end of the day before leaving the owner gave it to me as a gift. Guys, sometimes I'm blessed by fortune. It has no brand. It is not from Lemax or Department 56 or any other known manufacturer. But it's made in China, as everything else. It is a giant wheel or a fairy wheel. Obviously, the. Actually, Lemax has on catalog just one giant wheel. It is item 94482, the giant wheel. Not exactly true because they also have a version of the giant wheel for the Spooky Town collection. But both versions are very different from this version here. But, Lemax, from 2006 to 2016, had on catalog item number 64489. It was a giant wheel and it was called the Starburst. I don't know if you can see it, but here it is stated right the Starburst. I will show you closely in some minutes. Let me show you a picture of item 64489. The Star Wars from Lemax right now. <laughs> you have seen the similarities at least from the upper section. And that version of the Star Wars was version number two because one of the earliest collection it, that was called the Carroll Town collection and town was written T O W N E, don't ask me why, also had on catalog the first version of the Starburst. Um, some differences with, between the two versions in the railings, they are that in the lower section, and then the Starburst in the first version was white on blue background, and the version number two was white on. Uh, uh, red background and other differences. But you have seen the similarities, almost identical, at least for the upper section. This version has the same color here and it has this little half here in the middle, in the center, that uh, Lemax has not. Do I like this version? Yes. Do I like it more? than Lemax version, any Lemax versions. Yes. Why? Because of the lower section. Every single one of the giant wheel of the fairy wheels from Lemax always lacked figurines on the lower section. Starburst or giant wheel. This one has two four, five figurines on the lower section. That makes it more realistic than the Lemax version because it's common to have people, parents, children, waiting to ride the giant fairy wheel. That's why I prefer this version. And also one of the differences is that right and left side of the uh, Lemax version has straight stairs. Here you have the main central stair then you choose to go uh, left or right. That's why I prefer this version, this polyresin version. I suppose even Lemax has polyresin version. And giant wheels and carousels are the only attraction I would add to my Christmas villages, simply because they are the only attraction really present in Victorian here. I generally go, as you know, with Caddington, Victorian era village. 
so giant wheels and carousels were adapted to that uh, era, not modern version of the older um, carnival section from Lamas, they are too modern for that year. <laughs> so, will I add it to my 2023 village? Yes. I would very like to. I already have some idea how to place it. The problem, <laughs> it doesn't work, guys. When I came home, I immediately attached an AC adapter, and by the way, it works at 12 volts, but it never switched on. I simply suppose that it has movement and sound, simply because I have three switch off, on and music. I suppose I can switch it on with simply movement and lights and switch it on with movement lights and music. But it doesn't work. I have to do a complete restoration of it also because it is missing the two street lamps here. Even the original version from Lemax has street lamps. One with uh, the post, the sign post entry and one exit or entrance and exit, I don't remember sincerely right now, but you have just seen it in the picture. So I would probably need to model, design and 3D print a couple of street lamps. But even, and only if, only if, only if, sorry, I will be able to restore it. Right now, I know exactly how to open any Lemax buildings, any modern Lemax buildings. I don't know how to open this. I suppose I know how to open it, but I don't know what type of glue they use it <laughs> to seal it. Super glue, hot glue, uh, epoxy glue, I don't know. And also I don't know if I had to replace some parts, if I had to search for some spare parts. Do they exist, spare parts, compatible with this version? I really don't know. I'm facing a big black hole right now and uh, I don't know. I will start the restoration. I will start to, to try to restore it and uh, maybe I will need to pause for a week in order to get some spare parts. I don't know. Then I will need to clean it because it is absolutely dirty. Then to repaint some parts, to glue some others because they are right now detaching. But I like this version. Let me check if I can restore it. Okay guys, let's go with uh, the Starburst with a known brand. Here is the top. Here is all the things that are supposed to, uh, to swing, okay? The cabins that are supposed to swing. Let me show you the front. Okay, let's hope to be in plain view with the camera. Okay, I think a little more like that, okay? The, it is the border. Starburst with figurines. Here I have a mother with a little girl uh, here too. And here I have a, a father with some gift in his hands. And then all the cabins with uh, people having popcorn or something else. <coughs> and from the front it is here. I don't know if this is lighted on, if you have lights here or here, I don't know. I will need to do a massive work of restoration because this is detached right now, as you can see, and to repaint. From the back here, let me turn it. You have here, oops, the switch. That it stands for off in the middle, on, on the right, and music on the left. Let me connect an AC adapter, 12 volt AC adapter, as stated here, and let me try to switch it on. Nothing happens, guys, even if I'm going that way. Nothing, no music, 
nothing, anything. I suppose here I have the sound because I have some holes and this will mean getting some music. Here it is, that much I needed to re-glue it. So very intense work of restoration. And here, inside here, I suppose I have the motor that makes everything turn. But I don't know if I can open it. First, I need to identify the problem. And from the bottom side here, I know that here I will have to work on this lower section here and try to open it. Yes, it is very dirty, guys, but this is a very rare item. Uh, I haven't told you in the intro, but the Starburst version from Lemax is around 200 USD, 200 euros. The version number two, I can't imagine version number one from Carol Town. And so a very rare item. This is much more rare because it's unique for me. Here I have some poly resin, yes, but here I have some uh, some snow that needs to be repainted, but right now it is too too grey, etc. But I'm not there, and here, those bricks here, very realistic. I need to try to open it, and I will work with it like that, trying to open, to force here. Let me try to see if I can open it with just applying some little force here. But I think no, I will break everything. Yes, sometimes it can be opened, but they've used some kind of super glue or epoxy glue that is very difficult to open right now. I don't know, I risk to damage here, the border with the poly resin here. And uh, I'm stuck right now because I can't open anything from this side. There is no uh, way of opening it. Maybe here I can open it, but no. The only way to open it is from the bottom side here but it is also a very delicate way. I need to figure out how, maybe. Okay guys, I had to choose to open it like this because I think it was only way to, to break one side and then analyze everything. Maybe I will be able to replace this with some 3D printed uh, bottom, uh, bottom piece there. Um, this is glued with, I don't know if you can see, let me see. There are plenty of wires inside, I don't know why, sincerely. I still need to analyze this, but this is absolutely hot glue. It has been glued together with hot glue gun. Like okay guys, I had to be drastic and to go with making pieces of the of the bottom section there. It was the only way to really open it, it was to break it. But now guys, I have this situation here. I will need obviously to clean it. They used a so, a so mean type of hot glue even on the connectors. So I suppose everything is controlled by this little PCB here. PCB here. So I'm noticing that I have here the two 
the two uh, street lamps one and two that will go one here one here and one there okay the two street lamps obviously they need some power so here they are switched here one switch here and one switch there then I I'm seeing some wires getting in the front from the side here one here and one there so I suppose they are for these LEDs there all these LEDs they come in with here this entry point here and this entry point there so I can suppose that they are for at least these LED there okay all this one and I suppose also uh, also that all these other uh, LED there are controlled by this wire here this wire here that is the only wire that goes up here inside here and that will be inside here that will connect here maybe i will need to disassemble also this part here Good. oh yes this is the carry on guys this green here is the big giant carry on it's a mess right now uh, polyresin uh, I have some other wires here in the corner okay so I suppose even those are lighted even those lamps here those little bulbs here and I can see inside some LED and you can see that you have also here some two wires getting one two three four here and one two three four there so I suppose that one two three and four one two three and four yes those far four one two three and four here one those one here one two three and four from this side and also one two three four lamps here are also lighted because otherwise i don't uh, see the meaning of these wires here, that those all wires. components seems to be working good seems to be in perfect state uh, but I don't know why it doesn't work maybe something oh yes maybe a little wire here uh, yes it is making some some short circuit I see now it here the two wires here were getting the white and the black here in the corner there we're getting one on top of the other making some short circuit i think yeah they were making some short circuit and here i have this Let me retest this with some AC adapter. Yeah, guys, oops, but it doesn't work. Lights are on. So it was just a matter of, uh, uh, of two wires being superposed on one of the other. And then, okay, as I told you, you are, I have here I don't know if you can see, yes, you can see that here I have some LEDs and they are very bright, guys. Very, very bright, very bright LEDs, those two. But the motor is not working and the wheel is not turning. Let me go the other way. Okay. Also, the music works. You can hear it. Okay, I have to resolder those wires, then I still need to <laughs> to analyze the problem. It's very loud guys, I will need to do something because it is very loud.
you can hear that it is very very loud ah, it, it even changed music it's not the same Ula. let me switch it's very loud guys let me go just with the lights on but the problem is that the motor is not working so these wire here are not working i need to check those are right now the problem is this wire here these two wires here those two white and yellow that bring power to the motor section and they are not working I will need to analyze with the multimeter if I get some juice there yeah. let me switch I... this off and let me detach here the wires like that and now here I have I don't know if you can see but I have the two wires here the two pins that I need to okay. check the multimeter as always and then 12 volts so let me go with the 20 and on let me get some juice and let me check if I have a voltage in here Oh yes, I have 12.42. I don't know if you can see yeah. it. You can see on the multimeter 12.42. I hope you can see it 12.42.41 on the multimeter. So here I have some juice, okay? Here I have some power getting inside. So the problem is not the PCB. Let me reconnect it let me reconnect it so the problem is not the connector so the pcb works okay once again here yes okay the only way to check because 12 volts gets in is to open this little this little part here okay I need to open and to check the motor that he is oops here I need to open this side here okay let me see if this is correct yes yes like that okay ok 
okay don't worry I will reattach everything it's very dirty it's very 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 dirty I need to detach the connector once again this little one and then yeah like that good now the problem is here guys okay maybe the motor doesn't work perfectly okay so it is the motor that has some problems I need to check the motor let me open this there this will open yes this will open I will detach from this side the cover good that needs to be repainted yes now this is the problem it doesn't work so here I have some specs concerning the motor yes it is between five and six round per minute <laughs> maybe I have the spare parts for it guys just remember what I went through with the with my um, three ring circus from the, the 2022 um, my 2022 Christmas village and I used the five to six round per minute uh, motor okay and this was is a synchronous motor five between five and six round per minute and I don't know it is Juling electric appliances the year of production I can't see it but you have it everything I hope that with this new camera you can get everything better so this is one thing that is precious if I had to replace the the motor there uh, before getting anything f any way further let me try to check this with a 12 volt because this works at 12 volt yes 12 volt let me check if the motor is broke seriously or not okay here I have some connectors I've already used for my camera slider let me check if I can use them yes I can use them I will need to prepare something here to make something
okay and now the 12 volt and it doesn't work so I think the motor is out the motor is burnt I think so I suppose that this is broken is burned the motor is burned let me check the motor Longest screw ever. Okay, right now. Oh, yes. I had to remove completely heat. And this might be a problem. So, this is the motor. I don't think it works. No, it doesn't work. So the motor is out. Okay. I know that even those LEDs works right now, okay? I'm testing this. But I don't have a 12 volt motor. I need to make a break. I will continue this next week. Uh, because I need to buy another motor uh, then I will also need to to check for something else let me remove this for a moment and let me check It is very, very, very loud. It is very, very, very loud. I cannot reduce the volume, I think. Okay, so. Good guys, as you have just seen, it is one week later. This because I had to buy some spare parts and wait for delivery. Especially concerning the motor here and the music system. But I will come to the music system in some minutes. Let's start with the motor. This is the motor I removed from the Starburst, the giant fairy wheel, simply because it didn't work. Last week I thought to be able to replace it quickly with a spare one I had, remaining from when I built the three ring circus and inside the three ring circus I used a synchronous motor five to six run per minute or so but my big my big mistake was to not remember that those motors were 220 volts this little guy here works with 12 volts this motor here is a synchronous motor yes but only 12 volt motor so 
I had to buy a 12 volt motor synchronous. And those motors here are AC motors. So they work only with alternate current. Okay, so exactly the same current that come out from the plug in your wall. Okay, doesn't care if it is 120 volts or 220 volts. But I I needed 12 volts. So this wall, this is the broke one, the frozen one, the kaput one, and if you want to see what's inside here, what's inside, a couple of uh, gears, maybe some more than a couple of gears. It is also called a motor reductor, reductor, sorry, because it reduces the movements using many, many, many gears. But okay, broken one. And guys, ta-da, here is the new one. Okay, the new maybe a little shorter, the wires, the cable are a little shorter. Yes, a little shorter, but anyway, I still need to add a connector. And the shape, the shape almost identical, no, clearly identical. The shaft here, the gold one here is the new one. A little longer, as you can see the shaft here. But the central hole here is almost at the same position, maybe a little lower position. At, but I, can, I think I can manage to work with this motor here. Let me show you closer the specs of the motor here. Uh, so, synchronous motor, as you can see. The type is a type C, so 50, 12 volt AC, 50 to 60 hertz of frequency, and 5 to 6 RPM. Okay, round per minutes. Oh, I'm on focus right now. I think so. Okay, focused. Good. Let's check if it works. I will need something to let you see if it works. So let's make a little flag. Let's call this a little flag with some mask tape here. Good. This will turn if it works. Then you can see that AC motors doesn't have a red or black, white, yellow, no. Because there is no positive and negative pole in uh, alternate current. So doesn't need to, to bother to try to find the plus and the minus. I will get here and there with some crocodile testing. And then here I have a connector. I usually that do that for testing purpose. Let me get one crocodile here and the yellow one from the other side. Trying not to touch anything together. Then some power. This is the AC adapter. And then let's get inside. And da da. It has started turning, so it makes five to six round per minute. I will most probably need to attach some sort of uh, connector in order to get the motor here, the, the power cable here inside there, and then connected to this little guy here that is the other hand of the of the wire that connect the motor to the central PCB there. Okay, this is the central PCB as I shown you last week. Very simple PCB, 
but here I detached a couple of wires that were connected to the sound system, but I will come to that in some minutes. Let's get... No, this is the broken one. Let's do the same thing for this motor here. Like that and let's go with some juice so connector and the motor is turning guys oops sorry but the motor is turning okay so it works switch off now uh, before talking about the music, let's try to reassemble all this.
Good. Motor fixed. Led on the star fixed. They work now. Now, one and two. I miss two street lamps. The original Starburst from Lamax, the old versions of the Starburst, have a couple of street lamps on the corner. Surely they misplaced them because this came without street lamps, but it is a gift, as I already told you, so I don't complain at all. My initial idea was to 3D print them, having some sort of transparent um, bulb like this one, printing with PETG, and then the pole and the base of the lamps. Nothing, nothing strange about that. But I thought, you remember that, maybe you don't know, maybe you remember that I generally use this kind of street lamps for my villages. They are somehow uh, Victorian, yes, and I generally start from those little plastic street lamps here, they are maybe like that, okay? They are plastic, those are uh, pure plastic with no LED, nothing at all, and they are used commonly in doll houses, okay? They are very, very short. Uh, so I decided at some point to cut the street lamp, cut off the base, cut off the head, and then make those street lamps here. What I have inside those street lamps there? I simply have a five millimeter rounded LED. This one is opaque, okay? So it diffuses the light and they are three volts like this one, with, uh, to which I connect a couple of wires, in this case, yellow and red, and then I cut off, or I simply remove the top like that. I place the LED with the wires like that inside, because these guys has a hole all along the shaft and inside. So once the LED is inside, I re-glue everything and then I cut some pieces of these pipe here. This is an 8 millimeter diameter pipe, like uh, this one that I have here in the middle. And then I place the head, the top and the bottom there. And, an LED, and a street lamp is made very quickly uh, with no problem at all. Uh, very easily done, guys. Very, very easily done. Then. I simply power all the street lamps in series or in uh, in parallel, sorry, not in series, in parallel with three volts AC adapter. Okay, very, very simple. So I said to myself, why not trying a solution like this one? And th this is street lamps is not suited, obviously, why? simply because the connectors maybe i can approach the camera a little more if you look inside they have a pin in the middle in the hole there is a pin there uh, upstairs in the middle okay you have a pin and so the pin i suppose it is plus and minus how i tested this I tested this simply using this plug here, guys. This plug here is what I use generally to connect my street lamps or my uh, buildings when I uh, modify them to use a C adapter. This is a female uh, plug, 5.5 by 2.1, uh, and this is a male 
and they are like that. And I tested, maybe this can go inside there. Oops, it got inside there. But I wasn't certain of the voltage coming out of this. So what I did, I took my adapter, I switched it on like that. Then I took the multimeter like this one. I, I know that this is supposed to work at 12 volts, so maximum 12 volts. Is this DC or AC? It is continuous co uh, current or alternate current. LED don't, don't work with, doesn't work with alternate current, alternate electricity, so it, it is absolutely continuous current. So I get there 20 because it is or zero or 12 or some voltage in between. Then I went like this. Hope you can see the multimeter here. Yes. And I went like that. Oops. This is minus 3.8. So this is not positive. This one is positive. This one is negative. Yeah. 3.82 volt. This is like having 3 volts. You generally get something more than 3 volt to switch on an LED. Ploof! Okay, 3 volts, continuous current. Good. And now, uh, obviously, yes, this is good as a base. Maybe yes, maybe not. Uh, but then, mm, I don't know, maybe I will let you see from one side, like that. Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. So what I did, I did something strange, something uh, violent. I took this one, I fix it deep in the eye for some minutes, then I did something more evil. I took a blade, like that, then I went mad, like that. From one side, and from the other. I went coroner like that. So I went like, oh, let me get this out. Yes. I thought that this has a positive and a negative, as this is positive and this is negative. So I suppose one is positive and the other is negative. Then I took the same and I went like that. Good! Is almost, it has almost disappeared. Let me check which one is the positive and which one is the negative there. Going once again with some power. Like that. Multimeter. And then let's get from the side negative, from the middle positive, yes. So the center is positive. The outside is, the, the side or the outside is negative pole. What does this mean? That the pin in there is the positive and the outer is negative. Let me approach the camera for a moment. I will the middle here and then if you take a look at the side you have here another point where it has been soldered that this is connected to this metal side. So in the the pin the plug is done with plastic plastic and metal conductive metal. So you have a cylinder 
and inside the cylinder metal, outside the cylinder metal, and the cylinder is plastic. So two poles, positive and negative. What I did, I took my LED, like this one, uh, and I know that the long shaft here is positive and then negative. I took a couple of wires, like those ones, solder it to the LED, put the LED inside the pipe and inside the head, the, the top, the bulb, and then, and then I solder the positive wire to this pin here and the negative to this pin here. Good. Then, then I went super glue to so to glue the pipe, the central pipe, to the head and to the base. And then here, let me show you what I have inside here. You can see that you have some hot glue inside. Hot glue. It is the most effective way to do um, to center the connector there in the middle and then uh, pour some uh, hot glue inside, wait for the glue to uh, cure, to get once again cold and stiff and steady and etc. And then I have a connector, simply. This, I, I left it like this because I will need to paint, but I wanted to show you that the original um, the original one went cut here, cut there, and then in the middle, the pipe you have just seen. Does it work? One. Obviously I got two of them. Two there, switch on, and the two street lamps are switched on, one and two. Okay, I've used some, uh, not bright, but opaque um, LED like this one to get the light more diffused. I still need some post there with entrance and exit as the original one. I will 3D print it and then glue it before the end of this little mess that is this video right now. Good. So now I have motor LEDs working, street lamps restored. Obviously this is this needs to, it's not perfectly horizontal. Okay, like that. I don't want a street lamp that is bending. Okay, like that. Good. And so, street lamps there. Before gluing everything, because right now I have uh, part detaching and painting, I need, let me remove the street lamps, I need to resolve another problem. You certainly remember this little guy here, this little green guy here, that this is a speaker, obviously, and it is the way that the carry on the music charged inside the PCB <laughs> came out or came out, not come out, came out from this uh, PCB. And the music is stored inside this little chip there. This is the only programmable uh, part there. But in order to reprogram it, 
I need to dismantle everything and I thought mm, no 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 will not work it will not work and this was so loud guys you heard it it was so loud even masking everything no impossible and impossible also to uh, <clears throat> regulate the volume up or down because I don't have a potentiometer anything to um, to do that okay so I want some music yes I want some music sorry for the wires there I needed an alternative solution and I went this way, guys. I went this way. This is nothing else than a little PCB, very tiny, with a speaker connected to it and some a couple of wires to get some power and then a switch on and the okay you aren't seeing anything so the speaker connected to the PCB to the circuit some power here with the cables okay then a little switch to switch it on and off and a micro USB connector there and some chips this little guy here can store 8 megabyte is nothing i know compared to today but for the purpose i wanted it it's more than enough and the speaker is mono it's just one speaker as this one was one speaker like that so music don't need to be stereo stereo need to be mono okay this comes in kit with also some uh, some container for some wa batteries three wa batteries so 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 equals 4.5 volts between 4.5 volts and 5 volts this little guy works between 4.5 volts and 5 volts and it also come with some beautiful uh, instructions instructions that tell you in this case and also with a switch on and switch off button like this one guys Okay, like this one, it is a push button. One, push, 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 and it is connected. This is supposed to go, to be soldered like that. This is used, commonly used for talking gift cards, talking book, as to put inside some, um, some stuffed animals for little, uh, humans for children sorry <laughs> little humans I'm so dumb uh, for children so you can store um, some stories some night stories with your voice then it, it's simply a matter of pushing this little button and it starts talking good I think. interesting but I don't want a push button to start every time I want. I already have a, a switch there to switch the music on and off. Maybe I can adapt it. So let's forget the switch button, the push button. One for start, then it end, the music ends, then again, start, push, tedious. Not for me. But it also comes with some instructions some user manual that tells you the this little guy here this little circuit board here 
that is like this one. This is a little bigger, so I will have three SMD resistors there. One, two, three. Those are beside the uh, micro USB connectors. One, two, one, two, and three. Right now you only see one in the middle because I removed two of them with the solder. Because here is stated, if you leave it uh, zero, 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 like this one, zero, 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 like stated there, it means with all the three resistors, as it come from factory. Press the button once to play the voice, once and then stop. It will stop playing immediately if you press the button during playback. Then you push it once again to restart. But the interesting, so there, are many, there is many options. So 3x3x3, 3x6, 3 by 3 by 3 3 6 3 by 3 9 9 by 3 uh, etc. But this one for me was the most interesting one. Press the button once to cycle, play the voice. It will stop immediately if press the button during playback. I don't want a button. But this is the only option that says to cycle, play the music. So when the music starts, it gets to the end, it will restart. Okay, good. But this only if you push the button to start it and then it goes cycle. And if you want to stop it, simply push the button and it will stop. But no, I don't want a button. I want it to cycle the music forever. Okay? So what I, I thought, maybe if I shorten if I, this is a button that will close the circuit each time you press it. But what happens if you simulate that the boot button is always pushed down, always switch on, always close the circuit? How can I do that? Simply putting a bridge there. What is a bridge for me right now? For me is having a, conne a direct connection between this point here and this point there, between those two points here, one and two. Okay, one and two. Can I do that? It's like short circuiting that. So here I have uh, a faulty uh, resistor that it is broken. I broke one of the legs, but this is very interesting. But because this little piece of metal here is conductive and it conducts electricity, so if I take the leg there and I place <clears throat> one there. And then I go like that, creating a bridge from left to side to right, like that. And then let's solder this. So I made a bridge between those two points. Let, let, let's try it, guys, let's try it. Positive, red, negative, black. Positive. And negative. And I will approach the speaker to the mic. 
Then I will switch this on. And you hear it. 9 seconds. Then it restarts. Let me approach the mic. And it restarts. So it's citing the music. Right now it's not uh, <laughs> Christmas music, I know. But I will get to that in some seconds. But let me take also something else. A little screwdriver here. I switch this on. And here you have a little potentiometer there. Look. No. Here. Now it is very silent. Okay. Almost. I can go even lower. Okay, this is the minimum. And you hear a minimum. Then I can go loud. And this guys is loud. <laughs> Sorry guys. So I can finally decide at what volume play the music can, coming out from the, the, the giant wheel. Okay, guys, I ate this music. Let me, <laughs> but it is very short, nine seconds, so it is good for the purpose. Let me switch this off. I will be right back with uh, with some different music guys I will charge in it 7 megabytes of music 14 minutes almost 15 minutes of music in just 8 megabytes be right back ok I'm back oops And now, that's why I always solder everything. This is impossible to do otherwise. Like that, switch on. And now, it's more Christmas. Okay guys, and I have 14 minutes of this music inside there. Let me switch it off. Good. <laughs> it's done. Nope. Guys, this is the C current. This is 4.5 volt with plus and minus. From the LED there come out 3 volt. Not enough. The LED are 3 volts. And I don't have anywhere else some other voltage in DC current, not alternate current, but continuous current coming out from this little guy here, from this attraction here. But I want this. How can I do that? Let me check what I have here. 
this is not a positive or a negative because it comes out but this comes out directly from the switch and here I have one here nope you need to get some juice to the wheel okay there like that when the music is switched on on the other side here you have Uh, yes, sorry, this is not DC current and it is alternate current, so 20, no matter which one I choose. And here you have between 12, 12 volts, let's say 12 volts, between 12 and 13 volts, okay? This is the current you get inside. But this is alternate current, but it is 12 volt, so a little more than what is needed, the, the double that is needed, a little more than the double, but it is a C current. If I take this and I connect those two wires here, it will burn. You have certainly seen me using uh, those little things here that are a way of bringing down the voltage, a stepper down voltage with in and out current and the potentiometer like the one you have in here to regulate the tension the current that comes out from this little guy here but also this one is positive and negative also this one is dc it's not ac if i connect the two wires in and out here this will also burn so, there is something that can be used. This little guy here, it's called a converter. Brand new. Please take a look at what it is stated. AC, AC, DC, and it's, this is not the music group, guys, AC, DC, even if their music is so cool. AC, DC converter. Input AC to, between 12 and 24 volts. Here. Oops. Let's go this way. Okay. So... AC DC converter input AC between 12 volt and 24 volt output DC 5 volt 1 amps maximum 5 watt 5 watts and the speaker is 1 watt okay so <clears throat> this can transform in input some AC electricity, some AC current, into DC. So, alternate continuous. And this has a plus and a minus. This is plus plus, this is plus minus. So, yellow plus black minus. And input, no, no matter what. Let me check this, if it works. I will use those two wires that come out from the wheel, 
one here. I will connect it there and the other one I will connect it to the other red one okay and then I will switch this on good now let's test what I have from the outside remember that the yellow is positive and black is negative this time I will go to DC because it is supposed to be DC I switch this on positive yellow negative black It is the opposite. Oh yes, I haven't switched it correctly. <laughs> I've switched it with just the motor. Okay, now it is switched with music. Output four, five point. 0 2 volts outside and it is continuous no it is yes 5.2 5.3 volts continuous that come out from this little guy here okay so ac current has been converted to dc current uh, let me check it if it works so I will detach this one. I will switch this off for a moment. Uh, positive is red in this case. Negative is black. Let's hope not to burn anything. Okay, then this goes out. The speaker is here. Let me switch it on. And the music gets out. Maybe I can go up with the music. Okay guys, so 12 volts AC inside, I will power it with 12 volt AC and this is powered by this little converter here, 5 volts. Problem solved guys, 1 and 2. Okay, this is a little pricey, this is because it, it's uh, so useful, this is around 12 USD around the 12 euros uh, But it can also get up to 19 or 20 USD or 19 or 20 um, uh, Dollars USD uh, or euros, okay, but it is Programmable I don't like any more the music. I will open everything Because this time I will do something to let me open it more easily and then replace the music with what I want. And this is five USD, five euros. Okay, Chinese obviously. Switch this off. Switch it off. So I simply need to do some soldering right now okay and two let's check if it works so here he is without music 
and there with music. Good. Guys, this is the outcome. So now I need to continue and I will place everything inside. Okay, so this need. So previously, uh, let's remove the AC adapter. Previously, the music came out from those four holes in here. You have those four holes here. One, two, three, four, no, five holes, guys. Sorry, I don't know why I say four. So I need to place somehow the speaker in that same position there like that and I need to place it like that hope you are seeing it no you are not seeing anything I need to place it like that okay in front of the holes etc etc and then I will close this before doing some paintings but before getting there okay i will need to clean some of these old glue that i have here and that is messing with me from the beginning all this glue here that i have still here okay it is some more clean okay like that all cleaned some residual is still there because that damn hot glue is so so mean i will just a little 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 i've used it just a tip a little 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 of glue to get the border sticked to the other hot glue I leave it there and now it is glued together but I can still remove it let's talk about <coughs> the uh, cover okay the original cover was that big okay the original cover was this big there a little too big for standard 3d printers to print this entire piece because it is way over 25 centimeters uh, standard printers are a, a printing bed of 25 centimeters per side but i went with two pieces that are 3.5 millimeters thick as the original one was 3.5 millimeters thick and I will use them, those two parts, uh, like this, one here and one there, okay, <clears throat> to cover everything. Uh, and then I will use some uh, screws this time to screw this together. I simply need, because they aren't symmetrical, okay. Let's do this. And the components, those components, I will glue them. No, I will use two sided tape to place them inside everything like that.
Okay guys, it is closed with the bottom with some screws and countersunk etc and this is under the border so it doesn't get stuck anywhere okay and this is closed and removable for changing the music for replacements or something else i have a mess but here it is and let's check if it works yes with just the movement and the lights and then also with the music okay now let's do some some gluing Okay, switch off. I think it's almost done. I still need to do some paintings and a very massive work of paintings because these has, has aged, guys. These has absolutely aged. And I will clean this, then add some colors and not everything, but here. Uh, I need to, to do something with this.
Good guys, I think it's all. I've done a lot of painting. I repainted the lady coat there. I repainted the hat here. And uh, I painted all the snow here. And then also all the red here on the, on the green. And then what I painted, I painted the teal of the, the of the out of the wheel, the red and some gold. I added some gold. Then I repainted the, the yellow of two of this cabin because it was very 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 fade. Then I painted gold here uh, back. I painted gold and then finally I painted with some white the walls, adding some stripe of white. Uh, uh, simulating some freezing ice cold okay and then um, and then I applied uh, some medium gloss as you have just seen here medium self-leveling gloss uh, on top of everything uh, the teal uh, here the blue the, the pale blue the, or teal was not so bad but I preferred to repaint it because it was so old okay and I haven't applied a regular coat all around everything simply because this is supposed to be old a fairy uh, fairy wheel outside the paint is irregular etc uh, but uh, uh, I needed to paint it I changed some colors then I've glued as you have seen the railings and uh, the 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 bush here I've also uh, painted with some white the the bushes here the green stuff and and that's all guys some white on the on the stones uh, and the snow as I said it's done guys let me get this on another time once again with music this time. And here it is, the effect, guys, from the front. Okay, guys, with uh, the internal star flashing, with entrance and exit, and uh, the uh, here all the LED are still, and here are flashing. They need to be vertical, okay? and they are switching on and switch off as a star would, <laughs> would do okay and uh, it's regular the music uh, i will not be copyrighted simply because this is not copyrighted music uh, okay and music works so the the star burst is done guys and I don't think it is a uh, bad work okay and I don't know maybe I made a mess I don't know but this is completely restored uh, it's not getting some okay right now yes um, complete done restoration done I will add this to my 2023 uh, Christmas village and uh, with music with everything maybe I want this to turn from the other side with counterclockwise Okay, for the first time you are hearing the second mu the second uh, song. It's not that loud, but I don't want that to be that loud. Okay, and. That's all guys, I will see you for my outro as always. Movement!
music or sounds, lights, missing parts, gluing, painting. It was the first time I had to deal with such a massive restoration. Yes, in the past I did some minor restoration on figurines and buildings, but nothing compared to what I had to do for this giant fairy wheel. It was a real mess. And right now I think it is ready for my 2023 Christmas village. In that corner there, on top of some strange big giant rock surrounded by an ocean of water. That's my initial idea concerning that will. Maybe I will change something, but minor changes. Right now it is restored to its original state. But for what I have in mind, I think that those front LEDs and the ones on the railings are too, too bright. Also, I don't like for my new project the flashing LEDs on the wheel and on the star. So, in the next five to seven months, I will most probably add some resistors here and there and something called a conductive grease. It is nothing else than a grease that can conduct electricity. But it's not for now, guys. It is for my crazy idea. So, Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you soon for some more crazy idea. Thanks, bye.